for the top one, they're all gases. It's important to know the state. Okay? So they're all gases. Here, when you're asked about pressure or volume, so I'll just put it right here. Pressure, volume. Volume is the easiest one to conceptualize. What you want to do is look at the total number of moles of products. Four, in this case, one plus three. The total number of the total number of moles of reactants, total number of moles of products, two moles. And when we're doing these problems, we're assuming that they're uh, ideal gases, essentially. Uh, it just makes the problem much easier. If you're talking about ideal gas, remember number of moles tells you volume. 22.4 liters equals one mole. So you want to think, wow, that's a bigger volume than this. In fact, double. Because moles and volume are directly related. Okay, so this is big and this is tiny. You either have this or you have this. Okay? Well, so let's do volume first. If I increase the volume, it's going to go towards the side that's bigger. Because you have more space, it's going to spread out. Just like if you get a bigger house, you're going to get more junk to fill up the house. Okay, so you will expand with your house. So it's going to go to, if you go to the bigger volume, it's going to go to the reaction side that's bigger. So that's this side. It's going to go to the left. And the opposite is true. If you decrease the volume, now we're going to smaller. So you move to a smaller house, you've got to throw out all that junk. Okay? So it's going to go to the tinier side. So uh, this will shift to the right. It's not going to be that it goes all to N2, because you can't just pick one of the reactants or one of the products. Uh, they come as a pair. It either makes both of them or neither of them. Okay? That's that side. Now when you think of pressure, what I encourage people to do is to think pressure is proportional to 1 over volume. This is Boyle's Law from Chem 2A, Chapter 6. So, just think pressure is the opposite of whatever you got for volume. So in fact, if I'm asked a pressure problem, usually I'll just do the volume problem myself and then put the opposite answer for pressure. So, for example, when pressure goes down, that's the same as volume going up. And so that's a shift to the left. So, if you want to think of it another way, uh, there's less pressure from the outside, so it can kind of expand and relax to go to the bigger volume. So, the opposite is true over here. If the pressure goes up, which is the same as the volume going down, then it'll also go to the right. So, volume going down, imagine, you got to put a lot of pressure for that to happen. And so it's going to go to the tinier one. Uh, so that's how we think of the top one. Okay, any questions on that one so far? Okay, these next two are a lot more uh, painful in various ways. Uh, let me, let's warm up to the pressure part of it, okay? Uh, if I add CaO solid, no, that's hard, add O2, let's do that one first. Add O2, what happens? Shifts which way, right or left? No. To the left. Okay. Remember, keep in mind, when we're doing all these when I say add or subtract, we're talking about very small amounts. Okay? The painful one is this one right here. Okay, the solid. Anytime you're messing with a solid or liquid, it's, it's not quite intuitive. So, imagine you have a big bowl here, and you have a solid. It will have some vapor pressure. Okay, it'll be sublime some degree. If you add this much now, did, will the vapor pressure change? So does the amount, we learned this for liquids, does the amount of liquid change the vapor pressure? Your 
remember this? Do you, you add it to liquid? If you add liquid or solid, it doesn't matter. The same of whatever it is. If you start with liquid, you add more of it. So it's all to add more of it. Does that change the vapor pressure? It doesn't. So actually adding solid does nothing. Doesn't matter what the solid is. Now this is in small amounts. Okay, so all these questions we're assuming in small amounts. It, it will cause a problem if you fill this whole container up with it. But that's not what we're talking about, right? If you add a little bit, what's going to happen? There are overall no volume change here. And so you'll have the same vapor pressure. Okay. Did the question say this is called some volume? You're assuming the question doesn't say that. You're assuming it's constant volume because you're going to add just a little bit of it. So what you need to remember when you're doing these problems, you're adding just a little bit. And your text actually goes over this specific example. Okay. So you add a solid or you add a liquid, there's going to be no change. Okay? So that's something to get in your mind. Uh, all right, now let's do the pressure and volume one. If you increase the volume, now where is this going to go? Well, maybe think of this first. What occupies a bigger volume? The same amount of solid or the same amount of gas? The gas will occupy volume. So this, this is like zero moles right here. I know you ba can balance it. Zero moles, this is zero, and this is going to be count as one. Do you have a question? No. no. So you got to get okay with that. That's the same for liquids, too. You're going to count them as zeros. Again, because comparatively, a gas occupies a much, much larger volume. Okay. So you increase the volume, this is going to go which way? To the right, to the only one that has anything. So it's going to go towards the gas. If, and increasing the volume is the same as doing what with the pressure? Yeah, decreasing the pressure. So the opposite would be if you decrease the volume, it'd go to the left where there is no gas. Zero moles of gas, if you want to think of it that way. Or if you increase the pressure, it would go to the left towards the reactants. Any questions on that? Okay, so let's uh, do the bottom one now. You can tell me now. I add A. What happens? Nothing happens. It's a solid. Nothing. I'll just put an X for nothing. Okay. Uh, add B. Shifts to the right. Shifts to the right. So you just want to get used to that. If I take away C, nothing will happen. If I add D, it'll shift to the left. Okay? So, again, solids, liquids, you ignore. Nothing's going to happen. If you add a gas or aqueous, there's going to be a change. We're not going to really get to aqueous till we get to the next chapter. Uh, okay, what else? I want to do one other thing. Oh! Uh... Here we go. Increase the volume. What did you say? Same. Same. No change. Why is that? Yeah, there's four holes here. You, you don't count this. And there's four moles here. So again, no change. So changing the volume or pressure in this problem will do nothing also. So it's kind of, I know it's kind of a mind bender, but I want, I saved the harder ones to do second. Any questions on this?